Here's some instructions for how to make a hollow brick. You've come up with a template for a shape that you like, like that shape there, and it's in paper so that you can manipulate it and put it up and see if it's the size you want. Much easier than trying to cut out tar paper. Now that you have that done, you're going to go ahead and cut it in the tar paper. And I like to score the lines where I'm going to fold these bricks before um, I cut it out because that way when I do go to um, folding up the form and to make a brick it come, makes a good sharp edge. You can see that this piece of paper, the template, has little tabs built in. Um, that's because Porcelain um, needs much stronger union. If you have a tab, there they are, rather than a coil, the tab that, uh, that will be of clay there will come across and join with the other slab eight piece and it'll be much stronger than if you try to do it um, with a coil. So we'll show you how that works. Um, but first let's make a template the tar paper. of tar paper and put it on the clay slab. Okay. Right. So basically you roll out your clay, this is porcelain, using slats or um, any sort of ruler or whatever you have that's the thickness that you want. And I'm using a rolling pin here. This is if you don't have a um, slab roller. The basic thing is you want to have your play, clay um, be evenly the same thickness, you know, more or less the same thickness from one end side to side. Um, that's important for porcelain. Then you're going to take your piece of your template, put it on the tar paper, and cut out the shape. Which you'll put on your um, on your now, clay. When you're going to put your tar paper on the clay, I take a brush and I wet the the tar paper because this is fresh tar paper and it doesn't really want to stick to the clay. Um, it's like the tar is, is still fresh and it repels the clay. So rub it down. You also want some water on the clay. I think sometimes that's a good idea. In this case, it's a good idea because this clay is a little bit old now since it's been sitting out. So we'll just put a little water on it. Not much. All right. Now, here we go. Mm -hmm. And I line it up with my, I'll start with this. I want to get all the tar paper totally in contact with the porcelain, no air bubbles, and there you go. And if I feel like there's a spot where it isn't really attached to the clay, then I can actually bring the clay up over it like that. There. Like so. If you're using paper clay with tar paper, it doesn't stick as well. So you probably will have to do this, where you take the clay and you kind of and embed the tar paper in it. But this is, what we're using right here is, is total um, 
nothing but porcelain. All right, now we'll cut it out. I cut all the way in to where the actual wall will be. This is the tab right here. Right. Now, to go, the next step, we need to flip this thing. Voila. I'm putting together my piece and you notice that when I pulled up this wall Right in here, there's like a crease. I didn't do that. I just it just happened because I pulled the moved the clay, and where it crushes into a right angle, it leaves this crease. That's going to crack because that's what porcelain does. So I'm putting in a coil. It's not really um, to reinforce it so much as it is to heal the crack, that little um, crease that I just made right there. So, I'll use a little bit of water and so that I can float in my coil. Here we go. All right. There we are. See that? Now, I smoosh the coil out this direction. So that there's a long union and it goes from a little bit thicker to a little bit thinner. It's very gradual and even. See how that is? There you go. That makes sense. Now, I also want to see, um, I'm looking for right angles and a beautiful plane. I don't want to have lumpiness and um, wobbliness and curves because that's not what this is about. So if you can see this, there. All right, there's a wobble in this way and out that way so it kind of goes in and up and which you might love that for some other project but i don't want it so i use this on the outside and my hand reinforces on the inside as i push the wall clay and the tar paper into a right angle a real plane okay you see that that's what I'm after. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now, same thing on this side. And because it's in the tar paper, you can kind of slide it around. Easy.
These are gonna go inside here. All right, now. Now in order to do that, my, at, at this point, you know, my um, tar paper tab is getting in my way, right? So I have to pull it off so I, like this. Now you say, well, why don't you just use a, a coil? Why, why have a tab anyway? Right? Well, the reason I don't do that is that um, with a, a porcelain tab like this, it's joined to this wall already, right? Whereas a coil is just something you lay on top. And with porcelain, that really matters. It's going to, <clears throat> it remembers, and it doesn't come together um, when you lay one, uh, a coil on top, it remembers. So that's just this coil laying on top. Whereas this is an actual, actual physical part of this wall. This is why I think it works, because it, it does work. Okay, now, up we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whoop. Now, if you have some bricks, right? If you have bricks that you sit behind you, and I'm gonna use this as a brick, okay? Whoa, that's much, that's so helpful. Have yourself a brick of some kind to support it while you're working on it. All right, ready to go. Now, I'm gonna put a little water in there to float the, the wall in. And here we go. Let's see. All right, this one. Which you can't see, I don't think. There we go. This is a good one. And then this. Now this one, I can see from this side. You now you check. Okay, now let's check. Um, because we're looking for that beautiful uh, right angle, the planes of it. And there you see down here the tab that you've left behind there. And okay, here I have the box up and just the top coming down. And that's um, one of my bricks after firing. So it shows you the 15% shrinkage rate. Here, it's quite a lot. Um, from the clay that's the soft clay to the content fired clay. Now I put some water on there to make sure that there are no air bubbles caught. And I take the tabs, you see the little tabs that I have pulled down, and I squish those on in there um, and begin to get the um, curve, the, the edge I want. Um, this is the, the hardest part, really, of the box because you can't work it with your fingers. You can't go in there and, and finesse it. So sometimes what I do is I, I actually um, peel the tar paper back and work the clay, bringing the two edges together because it's, you, you can't really see and you can't do it on this last edge. Now right on the... Um, yeah, so there you go. I'm, I'm putting in a little extra clay. And then I take a tool and I um, make the right edges again. And I think this is, um, this, is, this is a great tool for doing this. Now for those who want to do a vase or some open shape, I think it's, it really is good to start with something that's closed 
and then come through and put an a opening in it later on. Yeah, and if you do that, if you put the holes in when it's leather hard, you will actually uh, get less warping and cracking um, than you would if you just had a, a urine All right. Now, um, we have the, the box put together, the brick put together, and with my tool, I can make the angles very fresh and nice and sharp. Then this is a piece that I did, um, it's three days old, it's been sitting in tar paper. Um, now when I open it up, it's evenly drying and is now about um, leather hard. It has no, it has an air bubble inside and no hole yet. Um, so with all of these of course, about the time it's leather hard at least, you have to put a hole in it, and I'm going to put a hole right up at the top, so later on I can maybe put a sculpture in this thing. But now, and now that it's leather hard, it's the perfect moment to smooth it, get the planes perfect, just the way you want them, and um, do some drawing on it. Um, what we should do next is... Um, have a, a little video about all the things you can do with your beautiful pieces of uh, porcelain when you're ready to draw or paint on them. All right then, have fun with your work. Bye-bye. Wow.